Hi, welcome back to Musician's Edition Practice With Me for Alto Saxophone. I'm your teacher, Risa, and today we're working in the Standards of Excellence Book 2, and today we're on page 3. All right, so this is kind of just a review right now. So we're going to be reviewing the C major key signature. So in the key of C major, we have no sharps or flats, okay? So that means everything we work on today will have no sharps, no flats, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at exercise number six. It's the C major scale. But if your band director says concert E flat major, we're gonna play the C major scale. Because remember, we are an E flat instrument. We're not tuned the same as the piano. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We see that it's divided, and all it is, um, with the exception of the chords there, is octaves. So let's start off with the top part, and then we'll do the bottom part. It's important to know how to do both. Okay, so top part. And remember, we're getting a little, little stricter with uh, being on time. So we're gonna be using our metronomes again. All right, let's do this at, and eh, let's do 75. All right, ready? Oh, and this is in two, four. So one, two, one, two. That also means when I count you off, I'm gonna do two measures just like that. One, two, one, two, play. Okay, so let me just change my metronome here to make sure that we match two. There we go. Okay. Ready? One, two, one, Perfect. I forgot to mention that we're going to just ignore the fermata right now. We're going to just play it for two for video purpose. Okay, let's go ahead and do it again. Let's take it up to 80 this time. It's only like at a moderate pace, nothing too crazy. Okay, ready? One, two, one, two. <laughs> Perfect. All right, one more time. Let's just do it a tad bit faster. Let's do it at 85. Okay, ready? One, two, one, two. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Now we need to make sure we do the scale, the octave lower too. So let's do the scale again, but this time we're going to do the bottom parts. All right. I'm going to take us down to 70. All right. Now I personally struggle with that low C. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Ready? One, Two, one, two. Perfect. If you struggled with that low C, just take a moment to just try to get the feel for it, let it ring. Just remember to loosen up just a little bit. And the book is also reminding us to play with good embouchure and hand position, so take note of that too. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. Let's do 75. Second part still. Ready? One, two, one, two. <laughs> All right.
right, let's do it one more time a little bit faster and make sure you keep practicing these as well. Very important. All right, ready? One, two, one, two. <laughs> Excellent job. All right, now the book is telling us we achieved something. So let's just take a quick look and see what we achieved. Let's see, that was six. Uh, here we are. Notes, rhythm, hand position, breathing, and tone. Yes, and we need to keep that in mind every time we play. All right, let's go ahead and move on to number seven, Molly Malone. All right, so we know we're in the key of a C major. Uh, only because that's what we're working on today. But tell me about our time signature. Three, four. So now we're doing one, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Tell me about our dynamics. Starting off mezzo piano, kind of quiet. Then later we're going to crescendo up to forte, loud and proud. And then we're going to decrescendo back down to mezzo piano. And then we have a repeat. Where does that repeat take us to? almost the beginning. We have that pickup note, so it cuts off the pickup note. All right, so then when we repeat, we're going to crescendo back up to forte, and then for the second ending, we're going to decrescendo back down to mezzo piano. All right, so there's a little bit of movement going on there when it comes to our dynamics. Tell me about our tempo. Andante, which is a little bit slower. Okay, and then we have a retardendo there at the end. For the video's sake, we're going to just ignore that. But remember, if you're playing with a band, pay attention to your director. Same thing with the fermata. We're going to just ignore that for video's sake. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try, and let's see what happens. Okay, so that means we now need to put our metronome on three. And let's start this at... Mm, let's start it at 65 because it's a slower piece. Okay, ready? One, two, three, and remember, oh, and we have the pickup note, so that means I'm gonna do one, two, three, one, two, play. Okay, all right. One, two, three, one, two. <laughs> Excellent job. All right, so that's not too bad. Um, this time I want to make sure we pay attention to our articulation. Most of this is tongued, but we have measure, full measure, one, two, three, four, five. Ta, 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 ta. And then for the first ending, ta, ta. Okay, so just make sure we pay attention to those slurs. So let's do it again. This time, pay attention to articulation. And we're gonna bump us up a little bit faster to, let's do 70. All right, ready? One, two, Excellent job. All right, let's do it one more time for good luck. 
Make sure we're paying attention to dynamics and articulations. Okay, we're ready? One, two, three, one, two. <laughs> job all right this one we've also earned some form of achievement so let's take a look at what it is oh let's see that was exercise seven so notes rhythm retardando we didn't do that but if you're working with the band you will be working on it dynamics we did first and second endings that we did too all right let's go ahead and move on to exercise number eight no looking back no looking back at this point right <laughs> All right, just kidding. All right, so once again, we know we're in C major, but now tell me about our time signature. Common time, so we're on to four, four. One, two, three, four. Now there's a lot of eighth note motion going here, but don't let it scare you, okay? All right, so tell me about our dynamics. Mezzo forte, we're just gonna be kinda loud this time. Makes it easy. Tell me about some of our articulations. We're tonguing to and slurring to. Ta, 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 ta. Right? And then here we're going to tongue the whole time. Ta, ta, ta. And then back to tonguing to, slurring to. Ta, 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 ta. ta. And then tonguing again. Ta, ta, ta. Sorry, I'm not the best singer. <laughs> but anywho, that's the articulations and the pattern of the piece. Okay, tell me about our tempo. Moderato. So we're going back to a moderate type of pace. Okay, so let me change my metronome to four now and we'll just start at 70. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. So it really helps that we did the scales to warm up with because a lot of this is just going up and down the scale, right? C, D, E, F, G, part of the scale, then just coming back down. All right, so I think we're good to bump that up a little bit faster. So let's do it at, eh, let's be weird. Let's do it at 78. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Excellent job. Let's do it one more time for good luck. Let's speed it up even a little bit more. Let's do it at 85, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> job. All right, we have extra practice here as it's telling us to go to page 40. So let's go ahead and go to page 40. 
page 40, and then we are on exercise 8, so look for the 8. All right, we have a lot of eighth note action going on here too. And this time it looks like it's opposite, so we're going to slur first, and then tongue. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, so we're just kind of doing that a little bit opposite, so we need to pay attention to that. We're still in 4-4, four, four, still in the key of C. All right, so let's bring it back down to 70. All right, 70, and um, yeah, let's go for it. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. So this one is kind of along with the scale. It's not as much ascending and descending. There's a little bit, but most of the notes still are pretty close together. All right, let's go ahead and bump that up a little bit. So let's do our, let's, you know what? Let's do this at 80. Let's get crazy. We'll do bigger jumps here. Now remember, if anything seems too fast, you can always stop the video, play it at your own tempo, work note by note, whatever you need to do. All right, so we're gonna do 80 for now. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. All right, we're gonna speed it up a little bit more. This time I want you to pay attention to the breath marks. So only breathe where it tells us to breathe. So I want you to be able to play every two measures without a breath, okay? So let's bump this up to 80, I mean, I'm sorry, 90. And we're gonna concentrate on breathing too now. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. That's a really good exercise to keep doing continuously. Um, it's just good for articulations, good for breathing, and just overall a good exercise. All right, let's go back to page three. Doo, doo, doo. Here we are. And now we're on to exercise number nine, Turkish March, written by who? Mozart, who also wrote Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Cool, okay, so we know it's in the key of C major. Tell me about our time signature. Two, four, we're going back to one, two, one, two. Okay, we're gonna start off with the pickup note. Well, I guess it's a couple pickup notes, it's eighth, so four and, and then we're gonna just get right into it. One, two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one. Two and one and two and one and two and one, two and, and then we're going to repeat. Where does that repeat take us to? Almost the beginning, just like we had earlier. We're not going to be doing the full pickup note. Okay, and then we do have a first and second ending. We have a little bit more going on with articulation. Tell me about what's going on. Now we have some accents added in. So we're gonna make sure we punch those accents. Tell me about our dynamic. Mezzo forte, we're gonna just play kind of loud the whole time. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. We'll put our metronomes back onto two, and then we're going to take this down a little bit here. Let's play this at 70. My metronome's battery is blinking, so if it dies on us, just keep going. All right, so I'm gonna do one, two, one, and then we're gonna play, okay? Ready? One, two, 
One. job all right so you can kind of see where the punches hit all right but this song is allegro so we need to go a little bit faster all right i started us off pretty slow so let's skip ahead to 80 okay ready one two one <laughs> job all right make sure you keep punching those accents all right let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit more we'll meet a little bit halfway here so we're gonna do 95 okay ready one two one <laughs> fun when it's fast, isn't it? And you can even go faster than that too. All right, so make sure you work on that one. All right, now on to our last exercise of the night, Hymn of Thanksgiving. Now this is a band arrangement, so this is going to sound best with everyone, okay? This is divided, so we're going to, of course, do both parts. So let's start with the second part, okay? So first we're in C major, all right, tell me about our time signature. Four, four, one, two, three, four. Excellent. Tell me about our dynamics. Starting with mezzo forte, and then a couple measures in, we're gonna get quiet, piano. And then we're gonna get mezzo forte again, kinda loud. And then we're gonna go back down to piano. And then we're gonna go to forte, mezzo forte, and that's what we have. At the end there, we have the retardendo, so if you're playing with the band, you're gonna slow down. For video's sake, we're gonna ignore that. Same thing with the fermata, okay? Pay attention to our articulation. We have a couple slurs going on, and we do have some breath marks, so make sure to take breaths during the breath marks. All right, so let me put my metronome back to four, and we are going to, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna slow us back down. Let's do this at, mm, I think 75 will be fine. All right, so bottom part. All right, and this is a pickup note, so it's gonna be one, two, three, play. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Excellent job. So there really shouldn't have been anything too complicated in this one. The rhythm's pretty easy. Our notes pretty well in the low register, but not hitting that hard low C either. All right, let's go ahead and do it again. Let's do this one at 85. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Excellent job. 
Excellent job. All right, I think we're good to now take a look at the first part. Our rhythms are exactly the same, breath marks are the same, tempo's the same, all that kind of stuff. The only thing that's different is we're just playing a little bit higher of notes. All right, so let's take us back down to 75, just so we can be fair. All right, same thing, we're gonna do one, two, three, play. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Excellent job. All right. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. We'll do this at 85. All right. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Excellent job. All right. And that concludes our lesson for today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and notify so you don't miss any of our lessons. Thanks for joining, and until next time.